warm welcome to today's webinar. This is the first national webinar to be hosted by the East of England Committee. My name is Sean Nichols, and I'm one of the committee members in the East of England. I'm joined today by Chris Broom and Mia Church. Um, they will be uh, assisting um, Matt and I um, with the running of this um, running of this event. Now, there are, as advertised, um, there were five areas of focus in today's webinar, and these topics that Matt will be discussing um, lend themselves really well to having kind of open conversation. We'll be watching that, and as we come through each of these topics, which you can see on screen, we'll be looking at those questions and posing them to Matt, and um, having kind of a, a you know a nice conversation about. Uh, many say many of the things that he's going to be talking about today. So brand yourself with purpose, elevate your network, and make your mark with stakeholders. Um, so we're very pleased to be joined by Matt Skipper, head of business development at Mills and Reeve. So my role is to um, obviously sell Mills and Reeve. Um, I sell legal services, and yes, I'm using this the, this, the sales word. Um, for, for many people, that's that's quite alien in 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 a particularly in a law firm, um, and you know that's the only way you can do that is by building a reputation because people buy from people, you know they don't buy from from necessarily the firm itself. The firm brand and the reputation has an element, um, a big part to play in that. But actually, it's the trust that you build with people um, that that can deliver um, opportunities for new work. So that's the kind of that's the approach here. Okay. Matt, you mentioned you mentioned that communicating the culture of the firm has been very effective. How did you mm. how did you go about actually doing that? Well, I think you know we, one of the things that um, one of the things that's kind of really important here is about being able to to, to put your money where your mouth is, right? Um, and again, you know, as a firm, we're we, we're really lucky that we we promote our culture. You know, we we're platinum investors in people. You know, we've been a top hundred. Um, firm to work for for the past 20 years consecutively um, we've just entered a new uh, top 100 thing with the times and um, I think we've gone straight in as a top 100 firm to work for so again it's it's about proving your your worth um, and then actually do you know what just being genuinely nice people to work with or, or have a chat with um, just being genuine and authentic that's kind of like a it's just a it's a really simple thing um, but I do think people have this kind of um tendency to sort of be a more professional version of themselves when they're having a conversation in in a business environment I, you know it, that's fine but you've got to just be you we're just starting started in a role coming straight from university uh, i find it hard to be confident when approaching people who are largely senior to me uh, do you have any advice on coming across as more confident but not overbearing so exactly on that point yeah absolutely so you know um the the key thing here is you know um uh, what so to being more commercial right that it's a it's a kind of phrase that that we use internally um it's essentially kind of the knowledge is power piece okay the more you know um and the more you kind of learn and the more kind of reading you do the more webinars you go to the the seminars the networking events the more you listen to other people's stories um what other people do um that builds knowledge right um and that knowledge builds confidence um particularly younger people Thanks very much, Matt. That was really, really interesting.